most of our sculptures show some evidence of catastrophe. The death of a star is one of the greatest piece of violence that exists in the universe that creates ultimately human beings. You know, we are made out of the dust of stars exploding. Well, growing up in these mountains and on this river has shaped me into who I am. And I've always had a, a love and an affinity for stones and spent hours on end collecting stones, balancing stones, skipping stones. The stones that we harvest are millions of years old and the soul that they develop through this passing of time is something that we feed off of and we just, we, we love and we try to take advantage of and listen to and let sort of the soul of the stones speak for themselves. sense of, of calm and groundedness and fulfillment um, with our pieces. I think that's, that's what the stones themselves do to people and I think to carry on that feeling into the work is, is what I, str I strive for. technique for making our work is really quite simple. Whether we're working in an improvisational way or whether we're working very carefully from a drawing that we've made, it's the same thing. We've got stones that are trying to get to a point of resolve. Every decision that we make is made by consensus. Um, we, we unanimously agree on every decision that is actually made. We might spend an hour deciding on a stone that's the, the size of my hand, whether or not to include it in the sculpture or not. And every mistake that we make starts to feed into the beauty of the piece. Any part of, of us touching the stone, we want to preserve and show that. That's part of the soul of that piece, just like everything this stone has gone through with all of these cataclysmic events through metamorphosis. It's part of the soul of that stone, okay? And we're adding our own soul to that too. The practice of making this sculpture gives us this experience of being open every day Everything that you've ever experienced is a part of you right now, and I'm seeing what you are as a result of that. And it's an intuitive thing, and it's a quantitative thing. But I don't really care to hear all the details of that, and I'm not gonna remember all that. I'm interested in you right now in the moment, and that's the way I am with the stone. <laughs>